you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Ruckus Smart Zone Controller based on a high-scale deployment of the version 5.2 release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many aspects of the controller. In this video, I'll provide an example of how to configure Realm-based proxy services. So let's get started. First, we'll log in to a high-scale instance of the Virtual Smart Zone Controller. Once logged in, you can see that the instance is running version 5.2.0.0.699, or simply referred to as 5.2. On a Smart Zone Controller, the Realm-based proxy service is for multi-tenant deployments or in Hotspot 2.0 deployments where different authentication services are required based on the client realm specified in an EAP identity response. In this demonstration, we go through the steps to configure Realm-based proxy services for RADIUS authentication. This functionality is only required when proxy or smart zone authenticator authentication is used on a wireless LAN. It's not necessary for non-proxy authentication where the AP is the authenticator or supplicant. Realm-based proxy is configured by selecting services and profiles, then authentication on the left side panel of the smart zone dashboard, then by selecting the Realm-based proxy tab. Realm-based proxy is configured at the domain level. In this example, we're going to create an authentication realm for one of the customers within the MSP domain. So I'll select that domain and click the Create button. In the screen that pops up, we must configure a name for the realm-based proxy profile. We'll call this MSP-01 Realm Profile, and we can optionally provide a description as well. The Configure PLMN Identifier option is used in conjunction with Hotspot 2.0 to provide identity. This includes the Mobile Country Code, or MCC, and a Mobile Network Code, or MNC. We're not going to define those parameters in this demonstration, so I'll leave that toggle set to off. In the area below, you define the authentication realms that are available in the authentication profile. To define a new realm, click the Create button and configure the required parameters. First, you must provide a realm name. The realm name must match what clients will provide in the EAP identity response. The clients we are configuring this realm for will send a realm of customer1. Next, you select which authentication service will be used for this realm. We already have a customer radius proxy server defined, so we can select it from the dropdown. Of course, we could also click on the plus button to define a AAA proxy service directly from here. Next, the authentication method is specified which will be non-3GPP call flow. Then you have the option to configure a dynamic VLAN if necessary, but we'll skip that for this demo. Finally, you click OK to save the realm settings. Back at the authentication profile, you have two other realms that were predefined. These are no match and unspecified. As their names imply, they deal with requests that identify realms that do not match any that are defined here for the no match, and requests that do not identify a realm are unspecified. In their default states, requests that are not matched or are unspecified will be discarded and no authentication will be provided. You can change this behavior by editing the default realms. Let's go on the assumption that you want to prevent devices that identify a different realm from being authenticated, but want to authenticate requests that do not contain a realm in them at all. You could leave the no match realm alone and edit the unspecified realm to do this. You do this by selecting the unspecified realm and clicking the Configure button. In the window, select the authentication service from the drop-down. We'll select the MSP Radius Proxy, which is the MSP's radio service that's been defined. Again, select Non-3GPP Call Flow, and optionally define a dynamic VLAN, and then click OK. Back at the authentication profile, you can see that requests matching Customer1 Realm will be authenticated by the Customer1 Radius Proxy service. The No Match Realm will be discarded because it is in a NA-disabled state and any unspecified realm request will be authenticated by the MSP Radius Proxy Service. Now we click OK to save the realm-based proxy authentication profile and can now begin servicing authentication requests in the Customer1 realm and unspecified realms. This concludes the demonstration on configuring realm-based proxy services on a high-scale smart zone controller running release 5.2. Thanks for taking the time to view this demonstration.